Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has gained a lot of popularity over the years, much due to how effective it is in real life scenarios. It also plays a crucial role in MMA, which has also exploded in popularity. Once Brazilian Jiu Jitsu got into the mix, of course. I mean, they, in my opinion, have revolutionized martial arts more than any other group. And it all started with the Gracie family almost 100 years ago. So, who better to teach me than 43 black belt Henner Gracie, who is the grandson of Helio Gracie himself? Thanks for coming in, Henner. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Wow. So this is a gi. Okay. Welcome to Gracie University wow. for your first official jujitsu class. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. All right, let's do it. You wow, hold this. I'll you show so you where much. to go. We're going this way, and then we'll get on the mat. How does it look? So let me show you this. This is the first technique you have to learn is how to tie the belt. So you yeah. did the first half right. So untie the last piece of the knot right here. So this is pretty solid. Now all you have to remember is the part that's on top. See how it comes out on top? Yeah. It's going to stay on top of the next knot. So bring it over. There you go. Push it through. Give it a snap. A real snap, okay. Yeah, That's awesome, good. dude. Have a seat. Welcome. All right. So, welcome to Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. Gracie family, you know, almost a hundred years now wow. doing Jiu Jitsu. Started yeah. with my grandfather and my great uncle Carlos back in Brazil. Uh, they learned Japanese Jiu Jitsu. The techniques were a little more aggressive, a little more reliant on strength, and then they began modifying those techniques so that it's more effective for smaller people okay. against larger opponents. I'm smaller. That's why we're yeah. here. Yeah, that's why your friend <laughs> sent you here. So yeah, really, jujitsu is yeah. the equalizer. That's why the world is falling in love with it yeah. for one reason. Joe Rogan said it best. Jujitsu is the only martial art mm -hmm. that delivers what it promises. Right. We've done this for 100 years now. My father brought it to America mm -hmm. in 1978. Mm -hmm and then taught at his garage for many years, and then in 1989 opened the first Gracie Academy, and then in 1993 co-created the UFC. Oh wow. And that's where the whole thing yeah, skyrocketed. gone. People all over the world, all martial artists, they saw that if you know Jiu Jitsu, it's kind of like cheating. Yeah. It's not fair because it's right. like a technique hack. Okay, let's start with this. Right. I'm gonna have you lay on your back with your okay. feet that way and your head this way. So first scenario. Yep. I'm gonna get mounted on top of you. Uh -huh. This is called the mount. The reason why this is so bad, Magnus, make a fist. You yep. can't reach the subject, but they can reach you. Okay. Okay. So this is a bad position. Worst, it's almost worst case scenario okay. because I can deliver and yep. you're reaching with no power. Yep. And even if you do connect, I can absorb. So the question is, how are you gonna push me off? What's natural going through your mind right now? Just natural, Magnus. Natural, it's kind of like getting you on the side. Go ahead. Come on, Magnus, 10, nine, <laughs> go, Magnus, for real. Eight, for real? For real. Seven, six, don't go, Magnus, stay right here. Five, four, come on, Magnus. Take his rock climbing shoes. I like his shoes. Take them, you guys. These are the best shoes here, Magnus. Don't go, freeze. Don't move. If you keep turning, turn over. Turn over, no, on your stomach. Keep freeze. Yeah. Now you get choked. Yeah. Boom. So the only thing worse than this is to turn over. Okay. Don't turn okay. your back. Tighter legs. Don't let me go. Well, if your legs are too open, I slip out. Look. Okay. You don't, yeah, you don't want to open. Yeah, don't open you your go. legs too wide because I'll slip out. Go. You do lock your legs. Keep it tighter though. Don't let me go. No matter what, because if you keep it, now we go. Magnus. Well, it's so easy for you. This is jujitsu. Here's the difference. Yeah. When you're on the bottom, you use all your rock climbing strength. Yeah. And try to bench press me. Yeah. And you ran out. Yeah. And now you're so exhausted that if the fight continues, you die. Yeah. That's the concern right. in a fight with this much strength yeah. is you burn out in 30 seconds and you have nothing left. Yeah. Instead of pushing you, Magnus, because yeah. if I push here, put your hand out here, put your hand, other side. That's why I didn't fall. Yeah. So you were okay. pushing me and I right. just kept stabilizing, right. which makes sense, hold me again. Yeah. So instead of pushing with arms and getting tired, look what I did. Yeah. I locked your arm and your foot. Yeah. Now don't fall, <laughs> resist. Too late. Yeah. And look how much energy I save. Yeah, yeah. It's just like magic. <laughs> it's like, how do you do Your turn, it? your turn. Grab my wrist with this hand. Excellent. Now, interestingly, yeah. hold tight. Hold tight. Man, he's, let's keep this hand down. Squeeze for real. Don't let my hand slip out. Yeah. Look how easy it slips out. Yeah. And these are the, some of the strongest grips in the world right here. <laughs> yeah. And my hand slips right out. Why? Because he's using a C grip. Make it, the C grip, look, it slips out the side door every time. Yeah. So instead, Magnus, look. Monkey grip. Okay. Your thumb goes over, impossible to slide out. Okay. So this is jujitsu. Right. Now keep that to your clavicle, elbow down. Love it. Yeah. Now this is great for lateral control, but I can still pull out the back door. Yeah, okay. So lock it in. And now this other hand, I'm gonna grab my tricep slowly, right there. Excellent, yeah. look at this, locked. It's done, okay. it's yeah. done. Now it's slowly, last step. Yeah. Put your ankle right next to my ankle. Yes. And now slowly push off this foot, Magnus and lift up high. You got it, bro! He's a natural! Look, he's a natural. 
Let's do it again. Make sure it wasn't locked. Two, Two, slow. Three. Now slow. Bridge. Excellent. Now you're on top. Yep. Now from here, you can run to safety. Yeah. Or you can step over and mount on me. Step your leg over. One, two. Now look how interesting. Sit up straight, bro. Watch how interesting. Make a fist. Yeah. So I'm 6'4". Yeah, yeah, I'm 5'8". There you go. So what matters is not who is yeah. bigger. Yeah. What matters is who knows jujitsu. Because yeah, yeah. if you get here, Magnus, you win the fight. Right. Even if there's a big guy like me, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You're going to win. Now the question is, let's say that a fight was happening and you took this guy to the ground yeah. and you got to the mount. Yeah. And this guy just went over there and punched a lady in the face and is trying to kidnap a child and yeah. you tackle him. Yeah, what do I do then? You have to just hold me until the police are coming. Right. But you can hold however you want. Just don't let me get up. Hold me down. Hold me down for real. Don't let me get up. I'm not going to use jiu-jitsu. I'm not going to use jiu-jitsu. Okay. I'm going to use street. Magnus, I'm going to use street. Street. And he's out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and what did I do wrong? <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't train jiu-jitsu your whole life. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All you have to do is hold this guy yeah. until help arrives. Right. And I just bench press you right off. I think I would. Get I like what you're thinking. I like what you're thinking, bro. Look, when you squeeze right here, look, you're yeah. still gonna get rolled. Yeah. Isn't it interesting? So tightness is good, yeah. but you get rolled. No tightness is good, but you get bench pressed. Right. So the question is, where's the blend? But I like where your brain is going. Like, what's yeah. more efficient? If I just lay on you, bro. Yeah. Use your hands, put them on my stomach, and you're gonna bump your hips up and bench press me off. Go. Look how easy. If I know jujitsu, do it again. Impossible. Yeah. Your legs are like yes. holding in. Yes. <laughs> this is jujitsu called super hooks. So what I do, bro, is I don't lay like this with no energy. Yeah. I hug, like you said, yeah. and then I watch my legs. Watch the legs. I hook. Now with my pressure of my hips, yeah. you can't bench press my hips. Push my hips up. Hey, my friend, you, <laughs> you punch the old lady and you try to kidnap the child. You're staying here, bro. How much energy do you want to burn? Because you start to feel... <sighs> Yeah. And then you lose, not because I beat you, because you beat yourself. Right. And that's what you want to avoid at all costs in a street fight, is drowning yourself yeah. with wasteful energy use. Yeah. Let me teach you now. Two things, head control, uh -huh. hip pressure. Okay. So head control is just easy, hand out. Yeah. Hip pressure is hips down, watch my feet, feet up. Yeah. Look at his voice change. I can feel it. My stomach <laughs> is so crushed. You see what happens when I bring my hip pressure, yeah. touch, put your hands on my knees. So where's yeah. my weight? It's here. Yeah. Okay, your turn. Slow. Now here's what's interesting, bro. You're doing what's called grapevines. Okay. We don't want to grapevine the ankles. You want your toes touching each other. Drive your hips into me and take your knees off the ground. Yes! Great hip pressure. Now put your hand out. out. This, hand, this hand goes here. Yeah, so you only need one neck hug. Okay. That's all you need. I'm going to try to bench press you now. Impossible! <laughs> now here's what's crazy, Magnus. Yeah. You're using more strength than you need to. Okay. So I felt about 80% strength. Yeah. I want you to do 30% now. Okay. So give me the hips, please, but don't overexert. Less, 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 less. Like that. That's all I want. Yeah. And when I go to push you, don't overexert. Just a little bit of hips. That's all my strength. This costs no power for me. Isn't that crazy, yeah, dude? Crazy. Now here's the problem, bro. Yeah. When you have two hooks in, yeah. Your bench press pre prevention is magnificent. Right. Beautiful. I cannot push you up. However, you are still rollable. Magic detail here on the hooks. So bend your knees, please. Watch. I'm going to put my hooks in. Turn your face so you don't hurt your nose here. Yep. So what you're going to do now, Maggie, is push, yeah. me, push me this way. Yeah. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take one hook. I'm going to push, push me here. My hook's going to come out for base. Look. See my knee here? Look at my yeah. knee. How I put it out forward. Yeah. When you roll me the other way, watch what my hooks are going to do. Switch. Yeah. Other way. Switch. Other way, switch, <laughs> boom, you feel it? So these yeah. alternating hooks yeah. is how you're not gonna get rolled. Okay. Try to do a switch, bro, without taking pressure off your hips. Okay. So put this in, but keep this here the whole time. Do it slow, slow. Keep this, look at that, beautiful, bro. My voice never changes, <laughs> switch it up. That's it, now here's the real test. Yeah. So when I roll you this way, yeah. you're in the proper position. When I roll you the other way, you should switch so that the other one goes, switch. Yes, coming back, switch. Beautiful. It's more relaxed. You're too tense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 30%. There yeah. you go. Switch. Boom. Switch. Boom. Switch. Boom. Switch. Now, here's what's interesting. Stay here. Yeah. Put this hand behind your back. Yes. And more hip pressure, please. You have to ride the hips the whole time, okay? Yeah. Now, listen carefully. Whenever I switch, you're going to do just legs. No hands needed. Boom. Switch. Boom. You feel my energy. Yeah. Boom. 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 I <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Yeah. So what happens is you start to learn how to use your body in ways that you never yeah. imagined. 
yeah, I feel like it should be so natural, you know, but it's not. You just never did this before, so you're learning something new. But once you learn a trap and roll wrist, elbow, foot, roll, yeah. of course that's how you escape. Right. Yeah. Why would it be anything else? Yeah. So it makes sense in that sense, but it does take your body learning these pathways. Yeah. But look how impressive. You mounted on me, yeah. no hand, yeah. and then I was not able to roll you or bench press you because your legs did so much work. Yeah. And to me, this is the magic of jujitsu. The way I look at it, Swiss Army knife, right? Yeah. Has how many options? 20 different little blades and things. But all your life, you've yeah. only been using two or one, the yeah. knife and the scissors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you realize when you start learning jujitsu that it has tweezers, it has a file, it has yeah. so many other options, a toothpick, all these other options. So jujitsu is the Swiss Army knife of martial arts. That's even, what we love about it. Even though it's a lot about technique, there's still some strength involved, right? What good is question. the most important That's a good question. strength you need? That's a very good question. Let's not conflate the fact yeah. that you're using a lot of strength right mm -hmm. now with the fact that you need strength. Of course, yeah, that's different. Okay? Yeah. Because, yeah, you're just using what you have and people are gonna do that because when you feel it threatened, you're yeah. always gonna exert maximal. Yeah. So you're like, man, it requires a lot of strength, but I yeah, didn't yeah. tell you to use that strength. <laughs> I actually had to tell you to go the other way. Yeah. Down. Exactly. Yeah. Cut down the strength. The way I look at it is this. Jiu-Jitsu is effective with or without it. But whatever strength you have multiplies your jujitsu by that amount. Okay. And that's why a guy walks in here, 300 pounds, these strong men that you hang out with, if I have a chance of rolling around with one of them, they get choked. Yeah. You understand? Because they don't know. You, yeah. and, that's the, and I don't have to have the same power because the technique prevails. Right. It's like cheating. It's like a hack mm -hmm. in a fight. So then the question is, how do you win the fight? When you put your hands up, Magnus, to defend, I go two on one, uh -huh. lock it in. Sneak under, get my head down, and now I twist. You're gonna tap out, okay, with that hand, okay. tap out. Yeah, no, I feel that. You, you feel what? <laughs> you would break my arm. Like Easily, and that, that was 10%. Yeah. So I have all the way down, I can rip this head. Head down and look, slide and lift. Oh, Jesus Christ, yeah, <laughs> So it's called the Americana arm lock. The second hand goes under and grabs my own wrist. Head down and slide and lift. Jesus Christ, I have no power in that Isn't position. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Put your elbow next to my neck here, Magnus. Yes. Now you're gonna go. Oh, now here's the problem. Because you okay. look at me. Look yeah, at me. Yeah. Look at me. Right the scene. Yes. Use that monkey grip, monkey bro. Monkey grip. Yeah. Yes. So as you lift my elbow, Magnus. As you lift your elbow, slide yeah. my hand towards your knee. Very slow. My hand has to slide. Slide the hand. That's the slide. Okay. Other side. Yes. Now dig under. Look at that. Yeah. That is easy. And then you grab your there. wrist. Yep. Yeah. Now look away so he can't eye gouge you. Look away, bro. So he can't hurt your eye. So he protect your face. Okay. Now slowly, my hand, Magnus. Yeah. Slide to your knee, bro. Very slow. Keep the hand. Hold on, you're lifting the elbow, but yeah. you're not sliding my hand. I need okay. my hand to go south, so take my hand to your knee. Better. Slide, slide, slide. Excellent. Don't let me wiggle out. I'm gonna trick you here, ready? Yeah. I'm out. I taught you the arm lock, yeah. but I haven't taught you what to do if he tries to escape while you're doing the arm lock. Right. I think you can guess the answer. Come back. Yeah, With what it's you the are... same technique. Yes, so pin this down. So slow. This and hook. Then the yeah, hook. and then the knee open. And Look at this, this, bro. Yeah. You guys, he's so natural. I didn't even tell him the counter to the counter and he already figured it out. Now you have all the time you need because you're hooked on, bro. Yeah. Now slide this down slowly and twist. Other side, please. See, if I try to push you, I'm stuck. Yeah. What if the guy's punching you from here? Boom, yeah. boom. If the guy's punching you in a real fight, everything changes because the distance changes. I pull you to your hands, look. Yeah. Because now, look where your hands are. Now I climb up, stay close, and I got you. Now try to sit up, go, pull away. Try to punch, too close. Look, now I trap your foot. And now watch out for your fingers here, bro. Yep. Yeah, ready, don't fall. Look, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> too late. Let me show yeah. you, me show you like what I did. Every position I'm and in, I have no power. Yeah. Every single position I'm in, I have infinite options. Yeah. It's like cheating. Yeah, Isn't it, it is. crazy, bro? But how long does it take to, to master this? 36 techniques. 36 is techniques. what a beginner needs yeah. to where if you get into a fight in the parking lot, uh -huh. My money's on you. So I'm gonna teach you the trap and roll punch block variation. Hug my body and look this way. Beautiful, bro. Now using your feet, Magnus, yeah. make my hands go to the ground. S push off slowly, freeze. See how I can't punch you anymore? Yeah. So now very slowly, using your arms, climb up my body a little higher. Just wiggle up my body, bring your arms up. Yes, like the perfect. Climbing is very natural for this guy. <laughs> now look, take this arm, Magnus, and wrap yeah. over my arm. Bring your arm out, pull this arm out, and wrap and pinch it with your elbow. Yes, lock it in. Now trap my foot. And now what are we gonna do to roll me? Big bridge and roll. Boom! Do you see how it's very similar? Yeah. Because we're still trapping an arm, yeah. we're still trapping a leg. The difference is we're doing it from closer right. to avoid the 
punch. Punch. Let's go again, bro. That was great. Yeah. So what's the most important thing? Distance management. Right. Because in a fight, number one principle, whoever manages the distance yeah. manages the damage. Yeah. So I'm going to mount. Right when I mount, just boop. Okay. Come on up. Look, there's no chance to punch. Sit up, sit up. Boom. Push off the ground. Bring my hands to the ground. Look at that, very slowly, climb up my body a little bit. Put, hug my arm higher, beautiful. Now look to wrap this arm. Yep. Yep, once you, there, I can't punch you, look. And now trap one foot and we're gone. Now step over, mount on me. Step over, mount, one, two, hands out. And now you hug my neck. Beautiful, put your hooks in, bro. Uh, yeah. Nice, now if I roll you this way, which knee goes out? If I switch, beautiful hooks. Nice, nice. Hand behind your back, no handed, no handed. Look at this, you guys. Boom, 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 boom. Boom! You guys, best hooks in all of Norway right here, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's crazy, you learned that so fast. And then once you mount control, come over here, bro. Yeah. After you control the mount for a few minutes or a few seconds, when he's tired, what do you do? Then you're hugging, you're close, and you want to go for the Americana arm lock now. The one where you, where you grab the guy's wrist. Remember the arm lock? Uh, yes, this one. Yeah, yes. Like this. So, Wait. yep, yep. Pin like it down, this. hand it off to this hand, hand it off. Go under my elbow with this hand. Nice, now grab your wrist. Now interestingly, everything looks good, Magnus. Very nice, hook is in. Except because you're hugging my neck, you yeah. can't break my arm. So this is where we apply the detachment principle. Okay. Take this elbow, bro, and loop it around my head, slow. Now you can break. Okay. Yes! Isn't that dope? Go yeah. again. Hooks in, your control. Pin the wrist, hand it off, go under, grab the wrist, loop around, hooks in, freeze. What kind of grip are you using my wrist? Monkey grip. Oh no, Nasi grip. Yeah. Here's the monkey grip. <laughs> I good. feel everything. Yeah. <laughs> Hook in deep, nice hip pressure, and now slow twist and pressure. Excellent, bro. Beautiful. That's a great technique when yeah. the person is like this defending here. Right. Sometimes they're up here like, get off me, and they're doing with their arms straight like this. Yeah. Or they're trying to strangle you. Let me yeah. show you an option. Yeah, push up. I go one, two. <laughs> now go. Try to get up. Sit up. Get up, get up. Go, Magnus. Go home, dude. Go home, <laughs> Magnus. Go home, Magnus. I got you, bro. We're staying right here. You're under arrest, bro. You robbed too many banks. <laughs> so what's happening here, you guys, is Magnus's arm is straight. And if I lift my hips, watch. Oh, yeah. You heard what he said? That's hyperextension. This is flexion, extension, hyperextension. Yeah. Let's and show, let me and show. how much power do you use? Very little. Very I mean, how much did right? I, and the cool part is I had you controlled right there, yeah. but I wasn't breaking your arm. No, no. I was talking to them and to you. Yeah. So think about in a real fight. And, and also my hands were far. Uh, from my face. From your face. You so couldn't you hurt me. So right. imagine the control this gives me yeah. and the confidence in a real fight. Yeah. Basic technique. If I were to catch you in this arm bar. Yeah. And then I'm talking to you and I said, sir. You walked by and you punched that guy in the face. I'm gonna hold you here until the police get here. Yeah. You're going nowhere. Yeah. I don't have to hurt the guy. He can't hurt me. Yeah. We can negotiate. We're waiting for help. The, this, the, the level of control, Magnus, mm -hmm. that someone like myself or someone like you, once you learn 32 more techniques, yeah. has in a violent physical altercation yeah. is astronomical compared to if you're just a strong guy who knows nothing. Like Magnus, without jujitsu, it's yeah. a liability. Right. Because if you get into a fight, you're gonna hurt someone really badly because you're so athletic. Yeah. Magnus with jujitsu is an asset, right. not a liability. Yeah. Let's turn you into an asset. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do the armbar one more time. One, two, I'm gonna spin this leg, bro, around. But look at the momentum. Isn't that yeah. beautiful? That now I a beautiful movement. Now I lay right here and I take the arm back and I control with the legs and I hold with this. Yeah. And then there's, we negotiate whatever we want. There's nothing I can do even if I try. Yeah. You can try whatever you want. No. You have no leverage. No leverage. And this is when you say how much strength is required. Yeah. I mean, I have students that are weaker than me that can still keep your arm straight because it's my whole body magnus against yeah, yeah. one arm. Right. And this is called the, um, the uh, overload principle. The idea of using disproportionate resources against a targeted part of my opponent's body. Right. You see why, that, why we win? Yeah. It's like I have 15 soldiers, you have one soldier. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna win this battle. Put your foot up on the ground, post your foot right here, and turn your toes out. Yes, now look at me bro, lots yeah. of weight here. Open this knee, spread this knee, and what you're gonna do is rotate your hips, and then that this hip and this leg is gonna go <laughs> One, sit down, freeze, perfect. Now take the arm, slow, slow. Yeah. Put your heels down bro, slow, slow. You Don't lift your hips up. Yeah. Hips relax, hold my wrist with two hands, C-clamps. Yes, double C clamps. Turn my thumb that way a little more. Yes, now from here, Magnus, hold on. Keep your heels tight, and now, it's already very tight, I already feel it. Yeah. And then you can talk to him from here. Yeah. I surrender, dude. The only thing you could do is bite my leg. Yeah, true, but we, <laughs> that's true, but if I bite, what are you gonna do? 
Ah. <laughs> Trust me, I'll take the break over the bite any day. Yeah. I do not want to be the biter. I want to be the breaker. Yeah. Lots of weight here. Yeah. You're, you're trying to get these hands to grab the wrist. I'm telling you, yeah. this doesn't matter. This matters. Okay. So keep this here until you make the full pivot. Yeah. Slow. Do one, two, three. One. one. Roll those hips. Two. two. Swing the legs. Three. Sit down. Beautiful. Slow. No rush. Don't pull this so tight. Leave it up here. Yeah, hold the wrist with two hands and keep it off your chest, please, because it hurts my elbow. Okay. Squeeze your legs more, bro. I'm going to try to get out. Yes, do not break my arm, okay? Yeah. But I'm gonna try to escape the legs. Look how strong. That's so crazy. It's so crazy. Yeah. There's no escape, dude. I'm trying, wiggling. Over here, you just hold. Yeah. And your legs are like. And I wasn't even squeezing. Nothing. You could talk to the guy from there. Yeah. And then if he's not cooperating, you give him a little love, like. <laughs> and then you go back and you talk, hey, I'm gonna be easy on you, yeah. but you need to chill out. Okay, one more time on the arm bar. And then I'll show you another one. So we're here, boom, here, boom. Here. Leg up leg and spin, up. go and sit beautiful and now here if he holds on tight use your foot to push my arm away nice. yep use your foot to kick my other arm away oh, boom cool. and now control yes slow and then easy easy yeah. <laughs> awesome dude okay and now what about the strangle get behind me yeah like you like this? yeah yeah strangle yeah like that and that one you squeeze right there go ahead pretty good pretty good i don't want to do let me show you let me show you let me show you the one thing that i felt was this you're putting your arm across my neck in the front like this yeah and because of that even though it hurts my throat yeah. there's actually lots of blood flow on the sides yeah, when right. you do a rear naked choke i don't want to crush your trachea uh -huh. magnus yeah i want to crush the sides oh, okay yeah i feel love <laughs> god jesus christ six seconds you're gonna go to sleep yeah Okay, but do you understand? It's not yeah, about feel, this. I, no, I've, a I've, very common mistake people make is they think it's a, a frontal choke. Right, right. No, I don't want it to affect your airway at all. Elbow alignment, yeah. grab the bicep, hand behind the head, head down, and now look. Oh, crazy. <laughs> That's it. Look, really at the, look at the V. No rush. And put this hand behind my head, and now put your head here, Magnus. Put your head down, and now very slow, use your back. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah. And much less strength. Yeah. That was like 5%. There you go. Yeah. And you don't need more than that. And that's the whole point. How much strength do you need for jujitsu? Enough yeah. to do the technique. Right. Right? Because the technique is the leverage. Other arm, please. Nice. Put your head down, slow, and now. It's so good. Now, the only thing to keep in mind yeah. is that when you wrap the person's neck in a real fight, go ahead, bro. Let's say you're coming around. They're going to get up. So as they get up, look. Yeah. You're gonna fall off. You have to be quick. Or well, what? that's the question, right? Yeah. What if you're not a fast person? Yeah. Right? What if you're not strong or fast? Yeah. Can you do jujitsu? Yes. Okay. That's why we love jujitsu. So many other martial arts. Think of any art. Yeah. What do you need to be? Fast, yeah. powerful, flexible. Right. Think of all the other arts. You know yeah, what they are. Yeah. Fast, powerful, flexible. If you're fast, powerful, and flexible, you can be good. Yeah. Jujitsu, no speed no power, no flexibility, yeah. you can still choke someone out, yeah. if you understand. So go on your knees, bro. Look, we also need to get our hooks in. Look, so when you okay. go up and you get up, go ahead, get up. Look, now I'm with you. Now, no matter where you go, look. <laughs> go, 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 roll, roll. Go, Magnus. You're, you're done here, look. See, this is the connection, bro, look. There's nowhere you can go. Now I just hold here. So as I get up, Magnus, just put your feet inside my thighs. That's all, a little lower, here. Okay. And no, not, yeah, you got me, look, there's no way. Yeah. And now you negotiate. Or he's fighting, <laughs> squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. He's gonna say, ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And then you like loosen up, but you keep talking to the guy here. Yeah. What do you want to negotiate, bro? I promise. I will not punch the old ladies anymore. Give back the watch. Okay, bro, here, you can have it. But Good. this is my watch. Good. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll take it anyways. Everything I've taught you so far is called the mount. If the person's very strong and I'm here and you push me off, let's say we roll. Boom, freeze. Now you're in my guard. Yeah whole different position in the fight. Mm -hmm. The guard is so interesting. It's, to uh -huh. me, it's the secret weapon of jujitsu is this position, the guard. Okay. Okay, here's why. Even though I'm on the bottom, I can control the distance. So for example, what would you like to do if you don't know jujitsu? Sit up tall and throw punch. Boom, boom. You would want to do damage here. That's what you would try to do. But now there's more distance. Though. Yes, and you would knock me out from here. Potentially, if he's a big guy, this yeah. is a big problem. Yeah. With, with the guard, stay tall, go ahead. Look what I do. Yeah. Now go, pull up for the punch, try to sit up. Go, Magnus, try to sit up for a good punch. Go, Magnus. And when you sit up, go punch, punch, punch. Touch my face. It's okay to slap. Little slaps, go. Slap, Magnus. Sit, lean forward, go. Now look, slap, slap the face. Go, for real. Come on, Magnus. Come on, Magnus. Come on, Magnus. Go, Magnus. Where's the slaps, bro? Where's the slap? One dollar per slap. Let's go, Magnus. Give him some love, Magnus. He's using it. Oh, look how interesting. I'm doing nothing but managing distance, and he's about to give up just from exhaustion. Give me some love, Magnus. Give me some love, Magnus. Look at this, it's called distance management. I'm using nothing, he's using everything he has. Come on, Magnus, sit up tall, get that leg, get the punch. Get for the space for the, and now look, we slip for the triangle. Ah. Oh. Triangle choke. Dude, 
You have so many tricks, it's like, it's impossible to beat you. You beat me? Yeah. Once you speak the language. I appreciate YouTube, I appreciate Instagram, I appreciate social media, and I appreciate yeah. the video. But I hope that as you're experiencing this, it's a new revelation, it's a new understanding of, holy cow, yeah. imagine if you knew 36 techniques, right. 40 techniques, 100 techniques. Now, normally we end the class right here. Yep. Thanks for coming, good job, you're yeah. awesome, good, let's go. And we go look at some other stuff, I wanna show you a few yeah. other things. But if you want, uh -huh. we can grapple now freely, where you mm -hmm. can start anywhere you want, you can start, any mm -hmm. position, okay. and then we spar, and then eventually you tap out, and we go, and we see how it happens just for fun, because you're so athletic and, and strong. Okay, yeah, we Wonder. could do that. Okay, I mean, I'll let you start. On, I'll let you I start. mean, I have no chance, but... I'll uh, let you start anywhere, go. Go. Magnus starting from the mount. He knows already a couple of techniques. He already knows a couple of techniques. He already knows a couple of techniques. Let's see it. No finger grabbing. You guys, normally we don't do this to all beginners, right? We don't spar with beginners like this, but Magnus is a freak of nature, so I wanted to give him this chance to feel another freak of nature than this. Awesome, dude. Thanks for coming. Oh. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's crazy that you don't use any power. It's like zero percent. It's cheating, bro. I mean, I think this is a really good like, type of exercise. And the perk is that you will also be able to defend yourself. That's crazy. You no, know, while working out. Now, interesting, you because said. Even though there's a lot of technique, it's still a workout, right? It is. And what's interesting is you said this is a great exercise, and the perk is that you also learn self defense. Now, that's coming from a fitness freak, right? <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. But for a lot of people, Magnus, what I've yeah. noticed is the fitness is not why they show up. Yeah. They show up for the self defense. Right. And the perk is you also get in the best shape of your life. I don't know what couch you sit on, but it's time to get off the couch and onto the mat. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank Appreciate you. you. Congratulations yeah, all the success. We'll see you guys soon. Should we do a hanging challenge? I yes. mean, you have a strong grip too. Listen, bro. A different type of... Different type. My grips are strong for chokes. Yeah. And that's it. That's it, okay. Okay, I have never have to hang on a bar in my life or while I'm choking anybody, but if I have to choke around your neck, I'll go. But I still think that all my years of jujitsu, I can hang longer than you. You think so? Yeah. Okay. I do. Okay. Okay, um, am I allowed to come down and back up like three times to your one? Come back down three times? I yeah. thought you said you are going to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> I should be handicapped. Okay, let's go. Good, okay, one, two, three, three go. Two. Holy cow. I feel nothing. Are you ticklish? Just, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. No. I have an idea. Now we grapple from here, and whoever touches the ground first loses. I got him in a leg lock. Look at this little leg lock. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, it was really good. I'm not going to let go, though. Don't film close up on my hands. Don't do it. God. Oh, no. Holy cow, I show off. That was crazy. You almost had me though. You uh, almost had me. <laughs> Bro, he almost caught me in a flying triangle with his legs up there. <laughs> when I saw how high his legs can go, I'm like, oh, that was a bad idea. This is a nice gym though. Do you Thanks. spend a lot of time in here? I spend three days a week for an hour max. And all my life growing up, I never lifted weights ever. So once I became 23, 24 years old, I started lifting more for mm -hmm. protection of the joints. Because what I realized is when you do a lot of jujitsu, even though the techniques don't rely on strength in that muscular sense, um, when you're stronger, it's almost like the wheels are on tighter. And that's what I try to achieve with just conventional, you know, weightlifting, um, pushes, pulls, yeah. uh, 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 pull-ups. What do you, uh, how's your bench press? I'm pretty bad at bench pressing because it's the opposite movement of climbing, you know? Okay, then why, climbing, you, then why are you competing with bench press? I don't know, maybe we're, <laughs> we're similar, I don't know. Okay, uh, take this one How much do you bench press? Um, 225. What is that in kilos? That's two, two, two plates. plates. I think that's that's big, more than me. That's big plates, big me. plates. That's more than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I might need a spot on 225. Got gotcha. you. My personal best is 102 kilograms. 
Oh, no, I'm have to... I think I think I can get it. Though. How much do you weigh in pounds? Uh, 155. Dude, that's crazy. Savage. Get in here when I can. <laughs> that, that looks pretty easy. <laughs> Two twenty-five. That was comfortable. So you have to jump from behind the line to in front of the line. Uh -huh. You're gonna hold the two fingers on yeah. your big toe. Solid grip. Don't let the don't let this go no matter what. Okay. Keep it and keep the grip while you go over. Watch me first. Hold on. Yeah. Don't let go of the toes. Pull hard. Don't let go. Oh yeah, that's so much harder than it looks. <laughs> oh, pass. Did it. Yes. That's a good challenge. Yeah. He's the first person who ever did it on the first try. Really? In my life, yeah. No one's ever done that. But I'm not surprised, bro. Come on, this is Magnus. <laughs> Thank you, bro. So, Magnus, we just finished your first jujitsu class, yes. but you literally just came in on a 12 hour flight from where? From Norway. How did you sleep on the plane? Like, in terms of, like, did you have one of these pillows? What did no, you I do? Had, there was an airline pillow. So I okay, had so you like put the this. airline pillow behind your neck. And then you go like, like that, this. and your neck was like this the whole time, jacked yeah. back the way. And when you actually fall asleep, does your whenever you're traveling, do you ever experience bobblehead? Yeah. We've all felt we all felt this, right? <laughs> and you travel all over and, the world for work. Like and then you do the and you have the, 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 the jolt, the yeah. jolt wake up, right? So look at this. I had the same frustrations, my okay. wife and I. Travel all over the world for jujitsu, and she worked for the WWE traveling. Yeah. And we got so frustrated by bobblehead all right. because sleep was so important to us and travel was so important that we invented the solution five years ago. Mm -hmm. Top secret, you guys. So this creates a little X formation here. And now we have an anchor. Look. One, two, three. One tuck, push your head back, and Magnus, wake me up when we land. <laughs> Bobblehead is impossible. And you invented this? Yes, patented. And the name is Sleeper Hold. Oh, look at his smile. I'm pretty sleepy, actually. I know, dude. Isn't it already taking you there? That was good. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool. Unless, of course, you're hungry. <laughs> We're going live on Kickstarter. We're launching on Kickstarter okay. very soon. Go to sleeperhold.com to join the VIP launch list so that we can let you know when the Kickstarter goes live and then boom, we go. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you for having me. Appreciate you.